Ryan, now you've been adamant. You've been pounding the table, close out those names like Apple, Amazon, buy these cyclical names. Now, I think the question is whether what we're seeing over the last this year, let's say this year, is a long term is sort of a divergence or is it actually a convergence? If you consider how the Nasdaq has crushed all these other indices over a five year period. And when you put all of that in perspective, this change that you're looking for, this shift, is this a long term shift you see? Stay in cyclicals, forget about big tech. Well, first off, it's hard being this right, Charles. It, it hurts being this right. And, you know, I think what you can see here is a Especially bounce. Especially when you're not used tested. to it. <laughs> oh, come on, the last name came. I'm making money when you have the last name, P-A-Y-N-E. But, you know, the point is, look, I think short term you could get a tech bounce, absolutely. It's a little oversold. But the longer term picture is you got to be real here. You know, inflation's real. Look, the Treasury's at 1.5. And the economy hasn't even reopened yet. We're not even talking about that $1.9 trillion stimulus that hasn't hit the market. It's almost like adding lighter fluid to a bonfire. So I think, you know, you look at the vaccination rates. They're just through the roof right now. By summertime, we could have right. herd immunity. You're going to have all this money into the economy. It equals inflation, equals interest rates going up. That's the anti-tech uh, trade when you start looking at these high valuations. All right, so let's broaden it out then to the overall market. Ryan, your thoughts just... Just on the overall market, uh, you know, I think one of the key characteristics since that bottom last March has been resolved. No matter where you want it to be, money doesn't leave the market. It finds different places. And I, I think that's been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what's amazing about it is just how wrong the economists have been. And I think they're going to be wrong again in discounting how quickly the economy is going to reopen. I mean, when you look at that extra stimulus, you look at GDP growth, it's going to be like 7 percent by the end of the year. That's the best since 1983. Right. I mean, that's huge, right? So when you start looking at that, you got to start asking yourself, like, this economy is going to open quick. That's going to add, like, 4.5 million jobs to the economy this year. Infrastructure is up, like, 50 percent the last 12 months. The S&P is only up 37 percent, which is tech-weighted. So, guys, I think the bottom line here is the theme is money is rotating out of tech in a big way. The market's anticipating the reopening of the economy. It's happening quick. Like, you've got to have your money there. Most investors don't. They have the anti-inflation portfolio. They've got bond funds, and they've got tech, and that's just going to get slaughtered as interest rates and inflation kicks in here.